it was a young man who, you know, he wanted to make a lot of money, and so he went to this guru, right? And he told the guru, you know, I want to be on the same level you are. And so the guru said, if you want to be on the same level I'm on, I'll meet you tomorrow at the beach at 4 a.m. He liked the beach. I said, I want to make money. I don't want to swim. Guru said, if you want to make money, I'll meet you tomorrow, 4 a.m. So the young man got there at 4 a.m. He all ready to rock and roll, got on the suit. He should have wore shorts. The old man grabs his hand and said, how bad do you want to be successful? He said, real bad. He said, walk on out in the water. So he walks out into the water. Watch this. When he walks out into the water, it goes waist deep. So he like, this guy crazy. I'm Adrian, he like, I want to make money. He got me out here swimming. I didn't ask to be a lifeguard. I want to make money. He got me in. So he said, come out a little further. Walked out a little further. Then he had it right around this area. He told the guy, he said, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. I don't know how many of y'all got asthma in here today, but if you ever had an asthma attack before, you short of breath, SOB, shortness of breath, you wheezing. The only thing you're trying to do is get some air. You don't care about no basketball game. You don't care what's on TV. You don't care about nobody calling you. You don't care about a party. The only thing you care about when you're trying to breathe is to get some fresh air. That's it. And when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful, as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I'm here to tell you, number one, that most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it badder than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Some of you love sleep more than you love success. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're going to be successful, you've got to be willing to give up sleep. You got to be willing to work off for three hours of sleep, two hours. If you really want to be successful, some days you will have to stay up three days in a row. Because if you go to sleep, you might miss the opportunity to be successful. That's how bad you got to want. You got to go days without, listen to me, you got to want to be successful so bad that you forget to eat. Pain is temporary. It may last for a minute or an hour or a day or even a year. But eventually it will subside and something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. The most important thing is this, to be able at any moment to sacrifice what you are for what you will become. Would a real Eric Thomas please stand up? Stop being this high school dropout. Stop giving up, stop sleeping on the streets. Stop walking up and down Finkel Avenue like you ain't got nothing and get your GED. Stop being afraid to take a test. Stop being afraid to go to college because your daddy didn't go and your mama didn't go. Stop being afraid and be the best Eric Thomas you can be. But listen to me, it's gonna be hard. It took me 12 years to get a four year degree, but I got it. And guess what, on a degree, it don't have dates. So if it took you four and it took me 12, it don't show up nowhere. But I'm exactly where I wanted to be because I realized I got to commit my very being to this thing. I got to I got to breathe it. I got to eat it. I got to sleep it. And until you get there, you'll never be successful in life. But once you get there, I guarantee you the world is yours. So work hard and you can have whatever it is you want.